likes the party. Welcome to the theatrical soiree that's got everyone flipping their lids. I'm so drunk, my pants are on my head. And turning the Tupperware party upside down. Who wants to feel it deep inside? You know, a lot of people, when they go to like the, the, a regular Tupperware party, they think of it as a Tupperware party. I think of it as a Tupperware party. I mean, we're here for the party, right? I'm going to get everybody juiced up and excited. I'm going to show them, yeah, of course, the famous plastic balls, but I'm going to get them to, to be happy about themselves. I'm going to juice them up a notch. Three, two, one, go! because I want everybody to leave feeling the way that I felt when I went to my first Jubilee. My first Jubilee, the Big Tupperware Convention, I felt like a star. People was cheering for me and clapping and giving me all this attention. I never had nothing like that before. And so this way I try to do that for everybody here. It's like being at a mini Jubilee. Everybody ready? Y'all ready to start the Tupperware party? Let's get started. My favorite thing right here. So I always love to show this first. It's my 787 rectangular cake taker. Wow! I know. Take the top, lock it in like this. Ready? Who can turn the world on with a smile? I can. That's right. Oh, that's it. Okay. Sorry. Look what's coming out of my mouth right now. This is a real Tupperware party. Do you know what they said? Marie, they came up to her after she did all this work. Like Rosie the Riveter, they threw her out. They said, thank you, Brownie, for all this stuff you did. But you are a woman. You have no business being in business. <gasps> she said, fuck you. I'm going to show you how this works, right? She said, I'm going to start selling this stuff to my friends, and they're going to sell it to their friends. And it started spreading. It was like, like the chlamydia of the 50s, right? <laughs> Do you know what happened? Earl Tupper hires her and makes her vice president of Tupperware. Think about that. A woman as an executive of a corporation all the way back in the 50s. Look, you know something? Brownie Weiss, first woman ever to be featured on the cover of Business Week magazine. After being told she don't belong in business. I know, right? Not too shabby. Look, 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 look. You tell me you can't, you're right, you can't. But you let someone else tell you you can't. <gasps> Shave on both y'all, right? And that's why I love Brownie Weiss, because she was a spitfire. She didn't take no for answer from nobody. And that's just when we had bowls, Bob. <laughs> During the, the 40s, Rosie the Riveter happened during the war. After that, all of a sudden, all these ladies found themselves with all this want to do something, all this need to fulfill something, and no outlet to do it. So all of a sudden, Tupperware comes along. It's this way for women to make money and to get together with their friends and talk and drink and not fall over on purpose. And then all of a sudden, you're like, wow, I want to do that, <laughs> especially the drinking part. I'm gonna show you some things that make me so happy to be a Tupperware lady, so proud to follow in that gorgeous woman's footsteps. I'm gonna start with this, my 428. My Piccadilly, oh yes. <laughs> it's got this plunger with slats in the bottom. What does Tupperware say to do with that? Oh, I'm gonna tell you. They say go ahead and go dump in your jar of pickles, your jar of olives, your jar of jalapeno peppers. Then when you want one, go and lift it up and swivel it around and the juice is strained through the slats in the bottom so your fingers don't smell like ass when you pull out that pickle. <laughs> Right. Oh, how come this one don't go like my one at home? This one must be busted. What's wrong with it? I should return it to Tupperware. It's broke. Shut up, hooker. Put it on the top. <laughs> Right? No, no, and it's got this big smooth handle. This is so much better than that thin butterfly handle for people that have arthritis or palsy or carpal tunnel from downloading all that porn. Okay, now. <laughs> now you're gonna go once around till it's loose and easy. <laughs> Never mind, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it. Oh, it's coming. Screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it. Oh, yeah, you do that real well. Oh, keep on screwing. Oh, you keep screwing. No, you keep going that right way. You're doing it right. I like that. Did you go all the way around? Did you feel a little pop? 
I did. <laughs> I don't want you dropping your precious liquid gold. And that's what I love, because watch, when that straw comes out, that seals up like a vagina. And look at that, look at that, look at that. <laughs> I know, say, say, because how many times? How many times has this happened to you? You're going down her on Terror Boulevard, right? And all of a sudden, what do you, you, you step on a patch of ice, right? You're, you're rear end that person in front of you and that perfectly good martini you're sucking on all over the dashboard. <laughs> With a 475, 16 ounce glass compression summer so the drip straw seals, all you gotta do, put it in reverse, drive around that accident, keep on drinking. Right, absolutely. It's time for a personal Nervous? Don't be nervous. Here, hold my hand. There, are you still nervous? What if we skip? Are you still nervous? Let's, I know. Let's close our eyes and skip. You're not on stage. You're, you're in a, you're, you know what? You're, well, well now we're working. Yes, you're in the gym. And, um, and, uh, oh, yeah. Oh. The nice thing is, you know, it's real important to have, I think, opportunities for people to feel celebrated and feel important and feel special. And that's what Tupperware did for me. And it's done for so many ladies for so many years. Like, okay, like 60 years ago, Brownie Weiss, that amazing woman that I never got the chance to meet, she did one thing, and that made sure that I met her. And I hope you know that to me, even though I don't know y'all, to me, you matter too, right? Look, 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 what's your name right here? L Linda, oh, that's right, Linda, you're not small, are you? You are big, right, right? And look, 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 in the red, what's your name right there? Oh, you're not closed up, are you? You're wide open, right? Look at that gorgeous smile right there, absolutely. Look at everybody, each and every one, all these beautiful people here, each and every one of you, none of y'all are half, right? Everybody in here is a whole. And I want you to do this like we do at Tupperware. I want you to look at your friends and neighbors and I just want you to say that. Just say, you are a whole. Go ahead, you are a whole. You are a whole, yes, yes. And then I want you to look at your friends and neighbors and I want you to say this and I want you to mean it. I want you to say, you matter. Go ahead. You matter. You matter. You matter, right? And Marie. Marie, if anyone ever comes up to you and says you is no longer needed, now loud and proud, what is the appropriate response? Fuck off. <laughs> I like doing it because it makes me happy. It's like jelly, but it makes you take your pants off. It's not so much even about me no more. It's about watching people get up. Don't you want to hear people scream your name? And playing on the stage and being with me and experiencing their little moment of cheering and everybody screaming and hollering for me. It went up to my kids, aren't they fantastic? That makes me so happy down there. It really does, and I just want everybody to feel that. Not that, but that, that, at least. Get out and go crazy and nuts and pull your penis out and throw them down on the ground and stamp on it like you did a bow fight. <laughs> but there are no bows here, except the big Tupperware balls. Woo John Dixie and uncover why the Today Show cheers, not your grandmother's Tupperware party. Airtight for freshness. You screw, you screw. Shut up. <laughs> You're stupid. It's none other than Dixie's Tupperware party. <laughs> That's right. Come to Dixie's Tupperware party. We're going to have some fun.